Hey, it's me. It's Jason from Denworks. Here's the little international pickup I've been telling you about. It's a little short bed. Really hard to find. A lot of times you see a short bed and a step side as well, but this has the uh, short wide box. Makes you pretty cool. But I just want to do a little walk around just so you can little, know a little bit more about it. Sorry for the delay. I've been messing around with a lot of cars. You can see here the the paint originally it was silver and then they painted it uh, kind of a red but as you can see it's real you know more of a satin type finish nothing fancy or anything like that but i don't think this truck actually has any bondo or anything in it i think it was a very original truck i have some pictures of it then they decided to paint it red because they were using it at the uh, pudding creek winery and so they didn't want to get too fancy with it what would be cool is is to actually age it out a little more and actually sand the top of the fenders you know all the all the areas there and just kind of sand it out and expose maybe bare metal or something like that under underneath of it to age it out or just drive it like this i mean it's it's cool it's a solid truck but we'll just walk around you're going to see little scratches little touch-ups and things the tires actually look really good. I'd say they were probably maybe just a couple years old, but they've got probably 95% tread, original hubcaps. You know, it's kind of nice because it's just a really open canvas, and the body on it is, is actually really good. You'll see some little waves in little areas, but one of the things you can see here is you can see these little little dimples. That's the original spot welds from the, uh, the the wheel tubs in the back. And you'll see some original spot welds right here, which is really nice. Bottom of the cab, really, really good and not rusty. You know, it's just a really nice driver. It's got a 304 in it with a four-speed transmission. You can see a little B right there. Windshield has some little wear marks from old wipers. The window gasket will probably be, need to be replaced. That does leak a little bit inside, but might be able to put some more sealant around it, get up underneath here and put sealant around it. Look here at the bottom of the rocker, looks real nice. You can see those little chips and stuff down there. This here is some little glue that was actually taken off the it needs door gaskets all the way around, but they had some other kind of gasket on it, but I haven't cleaned that off there yet, but it, it could use door gaskets. Around the roof gutter, it actually looks really good. Up on the roof, looks nice. You know, the bed's really, really in good condition. You know, you look down the side, you know, pretty straight, really. See some little dings right here and some little touch-up they did. You know, the tailgate looks good. It's nice because the, the box is real nice and wide. And this here, this wood, I haven't taken it out, but I've looked underneath and it's really, really solid. And I, I was originally going to take the wood out. If you remember those first pictures I showed, it had those wine barrels in here and they would take it to the, the winery, but uh, I kind of like the wood personally so I think I'd probably just leave it you know overall it's got dual exhaust it actually sounds pretty nice got Stanley hiding underneath here you can see some little cracking and stuff around the light nice bumper if you're gonna tow something I actually towed my vintage uh, camping trailer with it that you saw this side here you can see Original spot welds there. Original spot welds all the way up around. The only damage you can really see, you can see original spot welds here, across. But if you look right here, watch out, Stan. If you look right here, you can see a little tiny crease and a little bump out right there. Actually, the support actually pushes right up against there. But I think what happened is this got hit and it put a little tiny crease right here 
and that might be able to be massaged back out I'm not sure but I just wanted to point that out Stanley anyways so if you look at the side of the door again it's really straight you know the gutters look really good and overall I think the body's pretty good there's another angle at that little dent down there you can see the bottom of the door looks nice a couple little bubbles right here in the fender which is common and that should probably be replaced at, at some point but again it's pretty pretty minor mirrors look good little chips right there you know again the, the paint just has a real satin kind of look but you know it's just the way it is Stanley's kind of found his home here next to the truck see some little dings and things but hopefully that gives you kind of a good view of what it is in general I mean it's very very solid and really hard to find one of these I mean you see Fords and Chevys all the time but you don't see the international uh, pickups it's it really has a nice look and it's uh, something really different it's a 1968 but it really has the appearance of a late 50s you know early 60s looking truck so a lot of people don't even know what it is when they see it so it kind of attracts a lot of attention because it's just pretty neat so we'll go ahead and uh, look underneath the hood with one hand there we go engine compartment looks really really nice actually it's got a 304 engine runs good it's got a four barrel carburetor on it they didn't paint the dash I mean the uh, the um, firewall there so you could paint that red if you wanted or paint it black I'd probably just paint it black hydraulic clutch right here and this is for the brakes but overall underneath the hood here looks pretty pretty much in order the 304 and the 305 look exactly the same and they told me it was a 304 and I believe it is you can see here they painted underneath the hood one area that gets really rusty is right right underneath here and it actually is really clean So here we are, we're going to take a look at the interior. You know, the door actually shuts pretty nice. But like I said before, we took all the rubber gasket off. You can just see that it just wipes off, but I didn't took it all off yet. But the jam looks pretty good. The seat looks pretty nice. You can see here the material is not the same on the top part as the bottom. I've got a carpet kit coming for it. The guy that I got it from kind of put this other kind of carpet in here and just kind of made it. And I made a, I did a repair here on the floor. I had to re-weld another piece because it was rusty right there. So I replaced that, welded it all in. You can see the jam. Stuff looks really clean. You know, it hasn't been hit or anything. It's just a good honest little truck you can see the dash looks in pretty good shape the steering wheel has a few little cracks nice thing is it's really easy to drive you know very easy easy to drive you know factory wood green dash which is pretty cool you know again and in, in here the paint isn't perfect or anything like that um, it's just more utilitarian you know just for a driver you could use a headliner in here as well I'll go ahead and uh, look on the other side for you and look here at the door panel custom made door handles look pretty good actually this rubber gasket here I haven't taken off yet you can see they painted over the top of it so that could use a new rubber gasket around it. You can see here the jams look really good. 
they actually had a glued on uh, you know like weather weather stripping you buy it like Home Depot or something like that to you know made up against that but putting new gaskets on it would be the ticket there you know the nice thing is that you know it's kind of project stage the driver right now so you can you know all the little things that it needs are doable and not hard to do so it's just you can take a weekend here and a weekend there and uh, fix things you can see here it doesn't have a headliner in it right now I have a headliner see that duct tape it was holding it up there but it needs to be obviously attached in a different way than that and so it needs to have insulation and then have the headliner put up and then probably a little piece of trim to go around there or just leave it like that if you want but you know overall looks pretty good needs a glove box we'll start it up here in a minute so you can take another little look okay this is the first time uh, starting it up usually you'll hear a little bit of a lifter tick when it's been sitting overnight but go ahead and turn the key on you can hear a uh, electric fuel pump choke a couple clicks of the gas there you can hear it you hear it running you can hear a little bit of lifter tick not bad sometimes you hear a little more Fuel gauge works, amp gauge, oil pressure gauge. I'm not really sure if that's working uh, too good. I'm going to check that closer. You can hear the heater fan working. The radio. There we go. I don't have any channels here, but. I don't even know how to use it. I shouldn't even turned it on to show you. <laughs> I don't know how to use it, but um, well, anyways, you can hear that's that's working. But you know, it revs up. Sounds good. Horn works. Emergency brake works. It's kind of neat the way they do these. You don't have to pull it. You just push it down. I love the way the shifter looks. Pretty cool. I'm entertained by a lot of little things though. These are actually kind of cool too. These are kind of custom. Go ahead and look underneath here. Here it runs. gasket but anyways out on the road you know 65 60 miles an hour it runs really really good and uh, just flies right down the road so it really mechanically the trucks in really nice uh, condition and you know overall price price wise I'm not asking you know a ton of money for it or anything like that but with a lot of upgrades and uh, little things and cosmetic things definitely would you know I'd want a lot more for it but especially if I did more stuff to it but I just thought you guys would would like it and you know kind of fit fit the bill you know affordable wise so all the lights work too so anyways hope to talk to you soon and hopefully that was helpful uh, for you to see it <laughs>